Well, hello again, it's Ilona here. It's been a while, a couple of years or so since I've made a video to share with you. Life has just been difficult the last two years and what can I say? I've still been enjoying and growing orchids. My orchids um, allow me to find little moments of joy during a difficult time in my life and I like to share future moments of joy with you. Now in the past, I've killed my share of zygos and I'd almost given up but I'm just stubborn and I thought I've got to find a way to make this work. So I tried a couple of different things. First, I'm growing this zygo in uh, le the Lekka pe Pebbles in SH. Now I find it easier to know when to water and uh, just when the water is gone from the reservoir here I'm using, this is kind of a modified SH. I just have the pebbles, oops, sorry, pebbles in the regular fla uh, regular plastic pots I had kicking around and putting it into a uh, saucer and using a saucer of, as a reservoir. I also have the decorative uh, pots that I'll, I'll put them in later, but right now I'm just doing this and it seems to be working. The flowers, I've got two beautiful flowers. I just love the colors. You can see here too flowers and there's lots whoops oh goodness and lots of new roots growing so this I put this uh, so that was one thing that I did was change it into semi hydro and I also put it outside at the beginning of June under the under a tree to get the dappled shade and I thought for sure it would die because the temperatures can get into the you know, into the 90s here in the Canadian, in the Southern Ontario uh, summer. And I thought those, the delicate leaves, because the leaves are quite thin, and I thought, hmm, well, they wouldn't be able to handle that. And I thought, you know what? It's either do or die. So I put the plant out at the beginning of June and uh, just kept looking and was amazed when it not only did it not die, it seemed to thrive. And there, was, there aren't any ugly black spots. Well, there might be one or two black spots. I don't know where, oh, maybe. I thought I saw one or two black spots, but look how, look how healthy the leaves are. I've never had a plant as I go this healthy. Usually they're looking half dead as if they're screaming, you know, for me to put them out, out of their misery. So I'm very happy with this. And uh, I'm going to continue. Uh, oh, is that a new one down there? Oh, maybe not. No, no, I have to be happy with roots. So my little moments of joy. So I'll be honest, once kind of life is starting to overwhelm, overwhelm me, I just come and look at my orchids and I can be happy. I see little root. That's one little moment of joy. And then, of course, the flowers are moments of joy. But you know what? Flowers, they don't last long. So you have to work at finding other moments of joy. So um, this one right now, uh, is making me very happy. And the flowers have been maybe a week or two. So, uh, and I brought it inside. Once I saw, once the flowers opened outside, then I brought it in. I was worried about bringing it in, uh, bringing the plant in with the buds closed and then coming into my kitchen and uh, the buds blasting. So I waited. And so now I've been enjoying this. So that's um, one plant that, uh, I'm having luck with now. And the other plant, oh, those, um, don't you just love, I'm just uh, noticing the sunflowers that I bought yesterday. I just love sunflowers, so I, I bought some at the local gro grocery store and put them in the vase. They're happy looking. Okay, so the other plant that I've also had trouble with in the past, and uh, this wrinkle, uh, uh, wrinkle stylist, I'm not quite sure if it's a wrinkle stylist um, Gigantica because the name changes but it's, it's a Vanda type and what I have done too is I have it in the Lekka beads but I don't have it in semi hydroponic I just use the Lekka beads as um, uh, as a potting medium so and um, it was outside as well and once uh, at the beginning of June and I've never got these to bloom for me before I've killed several of these as well but the nice flower and when the flower opened I brought it in but when I brought it in the leaves responded like they 
curled up a little. They weren't like that outside. So it's not totally happy in the house. And I guess if I was really worried, I could cut off the flowers. But they're so nice and they have such a sweet scent. And I wonder how close I can get before you lose, we lose the, oh, let's see. Oh, there. They are so pretty to look at. I'm very happy with these. And um, so, and the, these dark spots that you're seeing on there, that's just from the sun because I put it in fairly, um, I have it sitting on a table under a, a sunburst locust. So it's getting dappled shade and I'm trying, I was trying to push it for the sun so I would get good, uh, you know, good flowers. And so those black spots that you see, they are like those uh, sun spots, those dark, dark purple sun spots saying that you're getting to the to the limit of of the uh you know of what uh, what the flower can take so so these are two of the orchids that in the past i couldn't get to grow so i'm very happy now and here where we where i'm living in mississauga uh, ontario the weather uh, i guess it's a zone 5b um, I'm going to have to bring these in at the end of September because the temperature is going to drop below 10 degrees and um, the orchids aren't, quite, aren't, aren't really going to like that. So they've got another six weeks outside, so I'm happy about that, the other orchids, because other orchids are developing. Oh, sorry. See, I'm not used to videotaping anymore. I'm showing you all kinds of stuff that's not even, not even interesting. I should be focused here like this instead of all over the darn place but i'll get the hang of it again so that's basically it i just wanted to sh um wanted to share with you because i find really i just find them so not only fun to grow but sort of like hmm, kind of therapeutic that like when i'm just had it i'll just go over and look at them and i'll find something to uh, that I can, uh, I have over a hundred orchids, so there's there's something that I can find to be joyful about. Oh, granted, there's going to be stuff that I don't like because things are dying and not everything is rosy. But you know what? I'm trying to focus on the positive because life is tough anyway. And if I can find something uh, to be joyful about, I'm right. Or I even create a moment of joy. So if I can't find a moment of joy, I'm trying to create it. And I'm using my orchids. Uh, that way and other plants as well. I not only love orchids, but I love other plants like those uh, sunflowers in the back that I bought when I bought groceries yesterday. So anyway, thank you for watching and I hope that you find uh, my videos interesting and um, I hope to continue and thank you for dropping by.